Hello, Hamlet. Thanks for tuning in. Well, I've just been listening to this really fascinating album. Really good album, and in my opinion, this band, it's the best band to come out of the 90s. <clears throat> yeah, it's an album called Six by Manson. Um, it's their second album. <laughs> She's called Six because the title track is called Six. And I love the single version, you know, the the version you see on YouTube, three minutes odd, just a video. But the version on here is like, oh God, it's about eight minutes long or something. A bit slower and all. And um, I would easily class that as a pro rock album. Yeah, I mean, come on. Their first album, right? The one before this, The Attack of the Grey Lantern, was a, a concept album. Now, I ask you, how many bands do you know whose debut album is a concept? <laughs> Not many of them, are there? But these did it. This is sort of a concept album, but... It, it's unusual, it's different to anything else like this in the 90s. I mean, I think Chris Heaven loved these in the day because they were always on um, TFI Friday every week. <laughs> and this week's guests, Manson! <laughs> and rightfully so, it was a brilliant band. Everyone, you know, the music press tried to label them as Britpop. They didn't like that. They did, you can't really slap a label on these. They're different and for two reasons for me. I mean, they made three official albums and then they split up. And then the fourth one was released after they split up. But it was the album they were working on before they argued about differences, split up and went their separate ways, you know? As far as I know, only Paul Draper has made a successful career out of his well, solo project. Don't know about the others. And, um, like I say, it's different from all the, you know, Britpop, yeah, right. You can't stick a label on these. Two reasons I think these are different. One, never done a love song as such. Two, not one single song by these fades at the end. They all finish properly. <laughs> or do they? <laughs> but this is a brilliant album. I mean, if you look at the cover, I mean, it's, it's lost a lot being on a disc, you know. It, it's val vinyl back in the day. That's what we've lost. I mean, this was on vinyl too, actually. You know, back in 1999, I think it was, or 98. Yeah, 98. Um, it's some brilliant artwork. I mean, everything in that picture is connected to the album musically. A song on it or something. Tom Baker's there. There's a TARDIS up there. You know, there's a, a nun walking up and down. There's... There's a song about religion on here. There's a song about suicide on here. There's a weird song that Tom Baker like narrates. <laughs> and hence the Doctor Who, um, the TARDIS and him. But there's actually a motion version of that as well. Brilliant album, highly recommended. Yep, Manson. From Cheshire, this band, yeah, Cheshire in England, and um, this started off with nothing. Paul Draper was a manager of a pub, and him and a few of his mates used to get together after closing time, have a lock in, and just talk about music and forming their own band. You know what I mean? They couldn't really play much, but 
determination. Don't let anything like get in your way, no obstacles. Grab the ball, bull by the horns, as Oliver Hardy once said, and put your best foot forward. Yep. And you come out with an album like that. I mean, that's the second album. The third album's a bit more mainstream and, I don't know, radio friendly. It's got some hella brilliant songs on it, don't get me wrong. But it's just not the same as this or Attack of the Grey Lantern. Brit pop, no, they're not. They're just an unusual band. You can't really fit in any category or any box or any pigeonhole, you know what I mean? That's the job of the record. Well, that's the music press, isn't it? They've done that for years. I mean, where do you think things like heavy metal comes from? Somebody in them, you know. Yeah, new wave of British heavy metal. That was... God, some that was a one of the editors and sounds music papers in the late seventies. That wasn't Mick Wall; it was somebody else. <laughs> He's dead now, but he coined that new album, new romantics. You know all these. You know it's just music at the end of the day, as Lemmy once said. I'm not heavy metal, Moorhead aren't heavy metal or heavy rock or anything like that, or death metal. We're a rock and roll band. That's what it's all about, folks. It's rock and roll. It's music. You either like it or you don't. You know, everyone's got different opinions. Well, that, a brilliant band. It's just a damn shame their career was pretty short-lived. Yeah. Like I say, if you want to check out Pyromania... No, oh, sorry, that was Def Leppard. Kleptomania, <laughs> Compulsive Thief. Um, that was the album they were working on when they split up. Very good. A bit grungy in there and stuff as well, yeah. So, anyway, Six by Manson. Highly re recommended. I mean, the lead guitarist was a bit of a crackjack. Crackerjack. He was, he was on that many, like, drugs and whatnot. He, once he... he he cut his hand open by punching the mirror, thinking he was arguing with somebody else. <laughs> uh, that was Dominic Chad, the lead guitarist. God knows what become of him. <laughs> anyway, God, I haven't reviewed anything for ages, have I? <laughs> oh, God, I must be slipping back into normality again. <laughs> See you later, have heads. <laughs>